Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Mitch, or Beijing Canadian here, and I wanted to preface this video by saying that now that the mini-series of training our six Pokemon is over, Jerome and I are back on our adventuring ways, looking to capture some new Pixelmon that we may have missed along the way, level up our party, and just have a generally good old time. So I think you're going to enjoy it, and of course if you do, slap that like button with your forehead, and I'll see you all later. Take care. Hey Mitch, buddy. Yes, Biggles. It feels good to be back. I know. Not having to train those stinking Pixelmon. Hey, I was starting to like them. And in fact, it actually got me wanting to. You ready for this, Mitch? I want to go on a training grind with my purple booty here. You know, to be fair, I was really starting to like that Flygon, Rhydon, and purple booty. This Big Mama, I mean, wasn't the best. Armaldo wasn't the best either. Definitely don't like the Firo, though. That could... No, surprisingly, I was really liking Omastar and uh, and my Gengar the most. Even though I got Gengar at the very end. They're my favorites. I didn't really care for the Flygon too much. Yeah. But anyway, guys, welcome back to Pixelmon. Me and Mitch are going to be doing our own things this episode. That's and I think right. We, yeah, we have a special plan for the next one we'll drop at the end. I think you guys will like it, though. Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. Oh, I'm doing a little calm surfing, calm, calm surfing. Well, I got one thing I want to do this episode besides training, Mitch. What's that? I saw a random torch in the desert, and it got me wondering, because I don't think either of us planted it there. So I'm thinking one of these guys might have hid something under it. Wait, you're thinking Arby's again? Why are you thinking Arby's, man? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Arby's here. No, I'm looking for a shiny muck, and I believe I'll find it. I actually <laughs> want to get my Charizard Ooh. and Blastoise up to level 70. That'd be dope. Level 70? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing with my purple booty. He's level 69 right now, so I want to raise him one more level. All right, let's look around. Well, Mitch, do you want to go exploring with me or no? Well, I'm exploring for a shiny muck right now. To the swamplands! Come on, Blastoise. Swim, buddy, swim. By the way, another another legendary spawned in the plains, but we're not falling for that trick. Yeah, I saw that one. It's like, nah, not happening. I'm like, <laughs> we, I know what happened last time I searched the plains and there was a legendary there. There wasn't. There wasn't. <laughs> it was there, a sad day. It was a sad day in Baca Town, I'll tell you. All right, here's the torch. It could mean absolutely nothing and probably, reasonably speaking, does. Yeah, by the looks of it, I'd say there's nothing here. Aww. Aww. Yeah, I was hoping that they hid something underneath here, like a secret house or something. How cool would that have been if we found, like, Ian's secret lair? You know what I kind of want to do? But I doubt they'll fall for it. It's just put, like, random torches with signs in front with arrows pointing down or stuff. And, like, put an arrow all the way down and say, at bedrock level. And just see if someone digs all the way down to bedrock. You never know. And they just and might. Put, put nothing there. Put absolutely oh, nothing there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Who oh, that? what? I found a boss sand dial who won't stand still. There we go. You always find the most lame bosses. Like, imagine if you found, like, what something that's somewhat rare. Like, you find, like, a boss squirtle or something. Oh, my God. I just critical hit one shot of that sand dial. I got a diamond hammer, a dive ball, and solar beam. Nice. Solar beam ain't bad, but we need moonstones and firestones. Believe me, I know. I complained to him. I was like, look, we really don't need this. As generous of an offer as it is, you know, there's only one type of stone I'm looking for, buddy. Actually, two. Two? Oh, two, yeah. Because the firestones stone are so hard to get, too. Firestones are ludicrous, Mitch. Ludicrous. We're going at ludicrous speed. Yes. Yeah. And I'm finding this. nothing. At least give me another shiny this episode. So you're looking for shiny. I'm just looking to train my Pokemon. You know what? I think I might get Purple Booty to 70. Then I'm going to try and get Jagmaster to 70 as well. I'm going to go on a little training binge. Let's see. He's all 66. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't. I won't be able to do it all one episode. Why do I, I have think, night vision? But... Get off me. I'm trying to I'm trying to see things. You have? How do you get night vision? Potion? I don't know. I just have night vision. Oh, like it's permanent? these choice spectacles. Oh, really? Wait, wait a second. I'm so confused. I don't know what these do. That actually sounds really cool. Permanent night vision, though. I don't know why. Because it covers up half of my part of my screen, so I can't see it properly. There we go. Ooh, a little baby conga scan. Oh, that's so cute. I'm looking around. 
See, I, I'm just trying to find Pokemon that'll actually help me level reasonably, because as great as this is, it's so hard to level, and there's no Pokemon near me. The only place to level Pokemon that is worth your time is you just walk into the desert. That's it. No, the the, the big hills sometimes with the Rhydons and Machokes and stuff, true, and Lairons. But it's not. It's harder to find those. Like I just I just walk in the same desert behind our house every time, and I get like a thousand XP a kill. Oh, no. Yes. On the plus side, though, Mitch Purple Booty's now level seventy, so he's even more tanky to destroy you with. Nice. And Jagmaster's on his way. Nah, I don't use Jag. Why not? Because he's a. You just you said it in his name. He's a Jag. Yeah, he's a powerful Jag. No, he hmm. ain't powerful. What about Pedal Dance? Nah, he's so weak. I could easily burn him to death with my legit Charizard. Oh, sure. Sure. And why do you have to emphasize legit? You hiding something, Mitch? Yeah, because half of them are named weird. Like, I've, my Charizard's called Blastoise. So if I said Blastoise or Charizard, it might be my Blastoise. Like, Alright, I thought, I thought you were admitting to cheating or something here. I was you like, don't know hmm. me. It's like, Mitch, what is this about, huh? Nah, you just don't know me, man. You, don't, you, you do. definitely don't know my picks, Lamont, that's for sure. Ain't nobody messing with my picks. Ain't nobody messing with my picks. 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 <laughs> Alright, let me look around. Oh! And all these bad mons, man, they want the... Duh. Duh. The duh. picks. They do. Alright, I got the Jagmaster. Yes! Level 70 on that Shazad. Nice! So we each got one level 70 now. Oh, I got a level 85. Don't forget about drones, too. Oh my, that's, that doesn't count. That's just ludicrous. What do you mean it doesn't count? Of course it counts. No. No. It definitely does not count. Of course it counts. I Our refuse. strongest Pokemon with no moves. I refuse. Oh, whoops, I didn't want to throw him out. Well, I guess he's getting some free XP. Uh, there we go. I found a nice ride on. See, Mitch, the Extreme Hills ain't so bad. Yeah, but finding the sand slashes at level 40s and camera ups and stuff for days. I suppose if you're into that kind of thing. Into that kind of thing? I love it. I thrive on it. I'm good. That was a little disturbing. I know. Every time I use this attack, it doesn't take any of the PP away. Probably because I just keep one-shotting everything with it. So oh, level 58 layer on? Yeah, don't mind if I burn you. Oh my god. What? Oh, okay, I thought you were doing it to cheat and catch him. I was like, wow, Mitch, really? No, I already have an Aggron. I'm not going to use it. I thought fire was effective against steel. This is taking forever. It is. Fire is super effective to steel. I guess he's just so tanky. And pedal dance style. Oh, Clefairy. So sad. I got 3,200 XP for that kill. Oh, my God. There's just nothing I can't one-shotty. Oh, Are there another layer on. challengers in this world, Mitch? Uh, yeah, I could kill you if you want. Oh, look at tongues. That's a big turd on the hill. Come on. Come on, Charizard. Keep up the good fight. Fight the good fight, Charizard. Fire Fang! How Boom. are you doing? Oh, by the way, Mitch, we should probably let our viewers know about our secret for next episode, what we're going to be doing. The very special one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or at least remind them of our plan from ages ago that we kept forgetting about. That's right. Mitch and I are going to rebuild Quentin's house next episode. Not exactly the specification, but we're just going to make a really nice home for him. That way he can, you know, finish up those renovations. Yeah, we want him to feel cozy. We want him to feel, you know, just like, we, like we're like we doing. Make him feel at home because he doesn't have one right now. Because those renovations, they just went south. So Exactly. The Mudkip Den just exploded. So I don't know what happened there. So we're going to clean it up for him. We're going to clean up the mud kit pen. Yeah. Because we're good friends. That's what good friends do. I don't know what it is, Mitch. He will not lose any PP. So I just keep using Pedal Dance on everything and one-shotting it, and he's just like, yeah, that's cool. Did me. you put an item on it? Maybe there's items that do stuff like that. Nope, he's just got Lucky Egg on him. Maybe. I don't know. There we go. Are you sure Lucky Egg is bonus XP? Yeah. 100%. 125% right. actually. Ancient power! Kill the Lunatone! Water Ancient power is a good attack. I'm so glad my Psyker's level 50. He's such a beast. Uh, 
I think Purple Booty could beat him. No, I'm just kidding. No, that is actually really good, especially being he can just literally bring anything out of one HP now that you want to catch instantly. Not just Saves that. A bit of time. I think he'll actually be good in fights because no one expects that bug type. That, and especially if you evolve it into Scizor and it's a bug steel type. Oh my god. Can you imagine? The damage that could do. It'd be ridiculous if you pulled that one but off. Scyther's way cooler. No way. Have you seen Scissor Mitch? Yeah, he's a he's a sucker. Doesn't even have blades. He's got like pincers. He just clamps you. Oh my god, Mitch, you are so wrong. He just clamps. That's all he does. Scratch. Clamps. That reminded me of Futurama. That's what, that's what he looks like, though. He's a clamp, clamp, clamp. Whereas Scissor's got these cool wings with big blades. Cool wings, big blades. Yeah. And a big booty, Impala. too. Probably drives an Impala. 20 inch ribs. Uh, Clefairy, stand still. There it is. Well, that's a big turret in the distance. Alright, what level are you, Matang? Be a high level, be a high level, be a high level. Yes. Inferno. Oh my god, Clefairy, you're ridiculous. Clefairy. Oh my god, absolutely ludicrous. Stand still. Yay! Now I got a level 70 Blastoise slash legit Charizard. Yay! Ooh! Mitch, I just destroyed... Wait, what are you doing here? Hey. You just watched me kill the big turd. I did. Why would you do that? He didn't do anything to you. He's innocent. He was stinking up the place. Hey, you want to fight me? He's literally one giant... Uh, all right. I've only got two injured Pokemon, but sure. Let's do it. Ha! Ah! Oh, that's a good fight. Jagmask. I... Yay! Yay! Why do you only have two Pokemon with you? Well, I'm only training two Pokemon. All right. Fair enough. Well, Purple Booty, it's been a real pleasure. Um, num, num. Purple oh, Booty, geez. it's been a real pleasure. If you kill my char, I'm going to be so upset. I, ca I can't even hit him. Don't worry Yay. about it. Hypnosis. There we go. Finally, I made contact. I got some of your health back, but you kind of joined this fight injured, Purple Booty. Like a butt. <laughs> Thank you, Purple Booty. And Shadow Ball. Oh, boy. There we go. Good boy. Well, I guess I'll have to send out this guy. Oh, dear God. Purple Booty. Come on. Hypnotize him. Ah, oh, Purple Booty. I think I attacked before you, or did you just miss? No, I missed, and then you destroyed him. Yay, I, think. I did that with my... No, it wasn't actually my mind. It was my Dragonite. Yeah, boy. All right, let me slash kill so I can get back. I can put my purple booty away. It's already level 70. Oh, yeah? Well, I have two level 70s now. Oh, my God. My other Pokemon party are atrocious. They're like level 50s. Really? That low? Yeah, this is bad. My Dragonite's 60, so that's not too bad. My Scyther, I'm going to keep him in my main party, but he's only 50, so he's pretty low. Super low? Super low, super low, he's super freaky. Quentin and Ian have some such high-level Pokemon. Theirs are all, like, 75 minimum. Yeah, they're ridiculous. I think they caught them mostly during the boss stage, though, where you could, like... Or maybe they just trained them a lot, I don't know. I don't know, Ian's on right now, but I don't know what he's doing. Should we go beat him up with hammers? I think so. Okay, you ready? I'm going in. What? 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 Oh, I was in the middle of the battle. I knew he's AFK. Dash TP. Oh! 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 Good TP, Mitch! A Prinplup! Oh, that's the second evolved form for like Piplups right below him. A penguin! Haha! <laughs> Did we just kill. I guess we gotta kill Ian, right? Here, you know what? I'll punch him into the water and I'll say he drowned. <laughs> He's gonna be so confused. Yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Nice, I'm catching. Hey, Mitch, another Prinplup. What the nice, fuck? we getting penguins today. Absolutely not. What? Pedal dance. Why? Don't you have? Do you have one already? No, it's just we need a Piplup anyway. So it doesn't make a difference if I catch him and evolve him and wait, or if I get a Piplup, you know. I mean, sure. Sunday drowned whilst trying to escape Jerovit. So. Oh, it does say uh. There's another penguin in the water. Oh, that's the one I'm after. Look. Cool. Well, I don't mind if I catch this. Because then if I find the lowest level one, it's not as much work to evolve him. I just put him in my Pokedex and call it good. That's oh. true. He is a good Pokemon to have. That's the thing they've also Empoleon and then become such a tank. 
I don't know if I can catch this guy. He's not going in the ball. That's my last ultra ball. Please work! Please! Please. Oh, no! Stop pecking me. All right, I'm throwing a nest ball. I hope it works. Come on, Prindlup. I just want to nest you. I want you to join my forces. Please. 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 Stay in the ball. No! Whoa, Mitch! Yeah. Friend ball. Away. Mitch? Yeah. I found something weird. I've never seen something like this. I'll TP to you as soon as I can, but... You might... Well, okay. You're missing out. This guy, if he doesn't get caught, he's going to come down with a serious case of X-Scissor. Yeah. It's a real shame, but you're dead. Perfect. TP over, buddy. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, it's cool. My cyber weird. leveled up. Look at this. You can see underneath it. Ooh, that I didn't. Are you allowed to dig? Like, I'm afraid if I dig this out, well, oh, apparently you can do this. <laughs> you were that amazed by the bottom of a big boulder. No, I just didn't know you could do this. Huh. Well, now you know. Huh. I see, says the blind man. Yes. Hey, Pilo Swine. <laughs> Who cares? Pilo Swine. I want to find the little penguin guy. What's the lowest level name? Piplup. Piplup. Yep. Yeah, give me a Piplup. Peep. Piplup. Piplup. The very, very cute. The very, very adorable Whoa, little penguin. Whoa! Clefairy spawn out here in the wilderness too? I thought they only spawned in like the mountains. Well, I guess not. Guess I was wrong. Come on. I need a little penguin. Please. Little penguin. Please, please, please. Piplup. Hello, little buddy. I know you're here somewhere. If I don't find one in a hot second, I think it'll be time to wrap uh, this episode up. A boss Pidgey? Too bad you really? can't catch him anymore. How funny would that be? Getting like a level like 70 something Pidgey? Don't ever evolve it if you could. A level it. 78 Pidgey, Pidgey. Oh my god. That'd be ridiculous if I was able to put him in my party. Well, that's what I used to it was, I used to be the biggest troll. In uh, the Game Boy Advance, and you could do the, the what's it called? Action replay and stuff. I'd put a million rare candies. So I'd go and I'd fight the Elite Four with parties of all, like, level 100 Charmanders and crap. Just so you know when it takes the photo and you can see how many different sets of parties you beat them with. Yeah. Just so I could see a photo of all Charmanders. Oh, my God. Or all whatever. Like, I'd do, like, the stupidest low-level Pokemon. I probably had one where it was all Rattatas. Like, no joke. Just level 100s. Just because you could win. Dear God, Mitch. I, I would waste so much time sitting there clicking A to Rare Candy, all of them. My favorite thing to do with Pokemon Gold, I'd go back and just face the Elite Four multiple, multiple times. I'd just do it a ton of times, and then I'd just see how many I could do. I think I got it up to like 50 or 60 times beating the Elite Four. No, exactly. That's what I would do, but I'd fight them with the stupidest parties. Yeah, but you cheated, though. How did I cheat? You said you just cheated to get him level 100. Oh, no, that's on that's on the stupid party ones. I mean, I had a lot of legit Pokemon that I beat them with. But then I'd be like, I'm bored. Let's get a bunch of level 100 Psyducks, and let's go win against the Elite Four. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? It was fun. I just, I shake my head at you. Why? What, what, what you shaking your head for, huh? I don't know. I don't know, I just I shake my head sometimes. I disagree. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm so Alrighty. Well, anyway, Mitch, I think this is a good place to call the video quits. I got my Jagmaster up to level 69, got my purple booty up to 70, so I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I got my Charizard and Blastoise up to level 70, Scyther's 51. I think this is a good place as well. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And of course, if you did, slap that like button, which for it. Let's get at least 12,000 likes. Should be easy. And uh, I think we'll see you all next time where we go and repair Quentin's house. In the meantime... Oh my god! What did you find? What the butt? And uh, I'm going to check on Jerome really quick. I think we have to start off next episode by exploring someone's winter lodging cabin. <laughs> I guess that's what we'll do next time. We're going to also collect some supplies so we can rebuild Quentin's house. We'll see you all later. Take care. Bye!